fire containment at the perimeter of a high-rise structure is probably one of the least understood areas of fire protection. And the problem is, is that when you have a fire in a high-rise structure, um, you have occupants that are up 15 stories, 20 stories, and their means of egress is limited to elevators and stairways. And even the fire personnel have a difficult time extinguishing the fire or fighting the fire at those elevated heights. And so I think it is extremely important that we think about the life safety systems that are available that actually work and help contain the fire to the room of origin. I mean, we're depending upon um, not only the architect to be able to design these, these systems properly and safely for the occupants, but we're also depending on the fire inspection, the code part of it, um, being able to inspect these life safety systems to make sure they're installed properly. Uh, we have a very good understanding of what works and what doesn't work. Um, and I think that our alliance with the third party testing labs and being able to develop new systems. And we're talking about systems that not only provide this life safety, but also give the architect the flexibility to design aesthetically appeasing buildings that are safe. So really, it's three fire protective systems working together. And you really need to include all three. And the three are, the first one is detective, and this would be like your smoke alarms and your heat detectors in buildings. Um, the second would be your active systems, like the installation of automatic sprinklers in buildings. And then the third one is really the area that Owens Corning is focusing on with the, the design of our systems and our fire rated test, and that's on passive fire containment. And really what passive fire containment is, is that once these systems are installed, they're always guaranteed to work. But we've learned through history that you can't just rely on one or two of these approaches. Um, the systems that Owens Corning provides, two, three hours. And you can imagine, if you're in a high-rise fire, that amount of time that allows you to get out of a burning building and allows fire personnel to get in and attack the blaze, it's crucial, especially with the number of people that you have in these structures. At the end of the day, the building's gonna be beautiful, but if there's an event such as a catastrophic fire, um, that's when these components, these systems have to really kick in and, and work because the public's depending on that.